Today we're going to have a look at the new KTM 890 Duke R. This is the new sports bike from KTM with the parallel twin in a middle range capacity. And it really is a super sport competitor. I mean, the twin cylinder means it's going to get displaced more than the, uh, than the super sports that are four cylinder and three cylinder, but it's still going to be a super sport contender because it's 166 kilos, which is really very, very light for a bike of this size. And they've made it that light because they've managed to lose the rear foot pegs and make it essentially a solo machine. You can convert it back into being a two-person bike, but out of the crate, it's a solo. And they've also lost a lot of weight from other places. So it's joining the SMC Supermoto uh, 690R and the Super Duke R 1290 as the big bore race developed bikes in the KDM lineup. So the parallel twin engine is, we've only ever seen it as a 790 until now. So this is a bigger, it's been bored and stroked and there's been quite a few modifications to the engine to give it that extra performance. Up to 121 horsepower and 99 Newton meters of torque. Now that's not really open class uh, specs, but when you combine it with 166 kilos, I think this will give a lot of big bikes a real hurry up and it'll make a lot of super sport bikes look pretty slow. Now the styling is very more supermoto than it is super sport though. I mean, this is a bike that I think will really, really suit uh, shorter tracks with lots of turns and not such high speeds. Because when you want high speeds, you really want to slip through that breeze and you want to get it there through having a full fairing and, and lots of bodywork. And this bike's a naked, so it'll be working really well and be easy to throw through those corners with those nice, wide, relatively high handlebars. They are a bit more aggressive than the 790, though, as, are, as is the foot peg position. The dry weight 166, that's come from making various components lighter, including losing those rear foot pegs, but also the brakes, which are now bigger, 320 millimeters uh, instead of 300, and they're using a a Brembo uh, monoblock caliper, but they're running aluminium, aluminium carriers and a few other changes to make that whole assembly at the front wheel over a kilo lighter, which means the bike will turn better because that's a kilo less of unsprung weight. Unsprung meaning it's at the bottom of the suspension and the suspension does not act on that front wheel, the wheel moves and then the suspension works. So the electronics are really, really fancy as well. I mean, it's got everything you'd expect, like ABS and traction control, but it's also got a 6D uh, lean angle sensor, which not only um, understands whether you're pitching forward or back um, and what, you know, left or right, but also drift. So don't know much about this at this stage, but we believe if you're sliding the bike, it'll know about that and therefore it'll help control the bike through the ignition and through how much horsepower it lets you, uh, lets you uh, apply through the throttle. Now the suspension is really top shelf as well. WP at both ends, fully adjustable upside down forks, and at the rear a fully adjustable rear shock including a hydraulic uh, preload adjuster and the compression damping with adjustable external adjusters for the both high speed and low speed, which is really impressive and not too many bikes out of the crate have that sort of adjustment. So if you like to set your bike up really, really well, this will be one you can do that with straight off, out of the box. Now it's running tires 120 70 front, 120 70 17 front, and a 180 55 18 rear, and the standard tire Michelin Power Cup, which is a, a very much a uh, super sport style tire. And in those sizes, they're not a million dollars and you've got a lot of choices to choose from when you do wear out that first set of tyres. There's also a heap of accessories available for the new 890R, from bar end mirrors through to Acropovic slip-ons and a full system. And there's, uh, there's also a quick shifter, different rear sets. So you can turn this into a race bike if you want. I'm not sure what class that would really fit you in, uh, but you can do it. As a track bike, it would be an awesome lot of fun, especially around those shorter circuits like Wakefield Park or the short the South Circuit at Sydney Motorsport Park, Lakeside, Wanneroo Park. Uh, there are lots of racetracks around Australia where that would be an awful lot of fun, and I'm sure around the world as well. And it's priced at $17,195 plus on-road costs, so on the road for about $19,000. So you're getting an awful lot of motorcycle with a lot of adjustability, Potential for more horsepower if you want it through those accessories and things. Um, 
It'll undoubtedly be a good handling machine, something you could go racing on if you wanted to, something you could do a bit of track day stuff on. And I think it'll be a lot more comfortable on the road thanks to those supermoto style and those flat handlebars than a lot of super sport machines will be. So getting to those corners will be a lot more fun uh, than uh, the back braking efforts you can make on some bikes. So all in all, this sounds like a really interesting new motorcycle. Can't wait to ride one. And uh, as soon as we do, we'll be back with more information. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the bell so you get notifications. And uh, we'll talk to you again very, very soon.